much. I appreciate it. How you doing, bud? Say hi to Mr. Kerr. Hi, I'm Harris Turr. I'm the governor and CEO of the Milwaukee Admirals Hockey Club. Hey, Harris. How are you, Rod? Good. How are you doing? Thanks for coming. Hey, guys. How are you? I love owning the team, and we do so many great things in the community. The Admirals are an important part, not only the sports landscape, but we also give literally hundreds of thousands of dollars a year back to the community. Yeah, so now we have two check presentations that are coming up uh, to two great charities that uh, receive dollars based on uh, promotions that we do throughout the course of the season. I'm very fortunate. My family was so successful with Master Lock and the community really made the company. The great employees over the many, many years. Uh, without them, this company wouldn't exist the way it does today. And I think it's important that to give back, we've got to make our community better. I met Harris uh, in 1993-94. I was in my office here at Laverne Way and the phone rang and on the other end it was a gentleman uh, who introduced himself as Harris Turr. He said, uh, I want to learn more about Boys and Girls Clubs and some of the things that, some of the great things that you do. I got an opportunity to take a tour and I right away had a great connection with Sam and I saw his passion for children. Kids were literally coming up to him, talking to him as though he was their parent. You could see the connection the kids had to him. I think one of the things that drew Harris to the club was interest in helping young people become more than what they were. He was really sold that this is the place where he wanted to invest in the futures of not only our community, but uh, the young people in which we serve. Because I guess for me, the fundamental way we make Milwaukee better is through education. If we educate our kids well, that changes everything. That's the bottom line. Being a club member has actually changed my life. Uh, before like being in the club, I, I didn't have an idea about going to college. I, I didn't even think about it. So that's when I was more like, okay, like I should possibly, probably consider going to college. If not, I would probably be working like 40 hours in a factory or somewhere that I didn't even like. But a lot of people don't have the funds to actually pursue college. And uh, I've always thought, even growing up, what am I going to do uh, to be able to come up with this money uh, before college or even pay it back when I'm done? So I started a scholarship fund in honor of my grandfather called the Sorf Scholarships. And this scholarship fund provides students with up to 75% of their room, board, and tuition to any state of Wisconsin school. And it's not just a one-year commitment, it's a multi-year commitment. And again, for that kid who may be able to pull it all together for year one, the trick is getting through to year four or five. And Harris sticks with you. And really, when you're done with college, you don't have the weight on your back of hearing from the debt collectors, just give you a fresh start, and just kind of the hope that uh, you will be someone one day. Not only does he allow our children to dream their dreams and to dream big, but through the SAR scholarship, they're actually able to live their dreams. So that was one big thing that helped me a lot financially, especially since my parents weren't able to help me with school. What you've done in that for that family is that you've taken a kid and you've stopped that domino effect of poverty and now they're going to be successful and they're hopefully going to have families and they're going to, their kids will be successful and that's how we make our community better. Finding that Harris Off Scholarship, meeting Harris Tour, I almost think it was a, a divine intervention because that really helped me out with my life and it really you know, kept me on a straight and narrow. And our hope is, is that that kid also you know, pays it forward and becomes the next Harris Tour. Eventually, I want to start my own scholarship program. I feel we need to keep this ball rolling. I want to give someone else the same opportunities that he was able to give me. I guess at the end of the day, I would want my legacy to be known as someone who cared a great deal about the community, made a difference, and uh, you know, gave in, in many ways, whether it be uh, financial, whether it be through my time and efforts, and I hope that one day people will remember the work that uh, I did, and I hope that that will inspire others to do the same. I can't think of a more deserving person for this MVP award. Harris, my friend, 
I want to say congratulations to you. I also want to just thank him for his generosity and the generosity of his family, as well for the many, many tickets and, and, and scholarships and things that he's provided to uh, the kids in Milwaukee. And uh, we're all very grateful. I just thank you for everything that you've done for me. I hope I can give back to the community as you've gave to me, gave me hope, gave me life. Congratulations, Harris.